Hello and good morning. I just got home from taking the kids to school and quickly came home and got ready because I have to head out like right away. I'm taking Ryler on a field trip and initially I wasn't able to do this field trip because I had an appointment, but it was a nail appointment. I moved that, I'm able to be there for the kids. I am gonna go on the field trip today and you guys, this one's kind of a funny one because he's in ninth grade, he's 15 and we're going to the zoo. He is taking zoology, so he is going for that class. So it should be fun, it should be a lot of fun. And thankfully the weather is cooperating today. I think it's supposed to be a high of 50. So it won't be that warm this morning, but at least it will be not frigid freezing. Wearing a sweatshirt, definitely gonna grab a jacket as well. It's gonna be fun to hang out with him today. And you guys, I just have to soak up those moments because he's 15. He is 15. He's going to high school next year. And the reality is I have very few years left of doing this stuff with him before he's out of the house. Going on a zoo field trip makes me happy, fills my little cup. And then Ryler and I are particularly getting excited because in three weeks, we are going on a trip together for the school. We're going on a choir trip. And I think I've mentioned this lightly. We're going to LA, going to California. We're we'll going to Hollywood. Universal Studios and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're chartering a bus and driving a hundred million hours with a bunch of teenagers. Should be really fun. Try to do things with all the kids and be involved in all of their classes and all of the field trips. At our school, we don't have buses. Parents have to drive. Requires to get a background check and we love to help out at the school. We love to drive for field trips. We love to do all the things and so we do. Really wanted to wear sweatpants today but I'm like, I'm gonna be presentable. I'll wear my new jeans I bought. But I've packed up Ryler's lunch and my lunch. I'm gonna take that for him. I'm gonna grab some breakfast and get on the road. Should be a lot of fun. We've had some fun today at the zoo. Right, yeah. guys. What's your favorite animal? Um, oh, the sea, sea lions. Lion, sea lion. They were doing a little show for us, but it's been a little chilly, a little long. I will say, maybe taking teenagers borderline more difficult than taking toddlers. Yeah. Yeah. We just, just a don't little? know what to do. But we got to do it together. Yeah. Yay. Just got back from the field trip. Holy moly, that was a long day. It's so crazy. It like wasn't even hard. It honestly wasn't hard. It was exhausting, but I can't even describe why. We hung out at the zoo for three hours and 15 minutes, which is a long time when you have like no assignment. There was nothing to do, but you know what? The kids had fun and they enjoyed it. We had a great time. We had lunch. Got a little breezy and a little cold, but we made do. It's all good. Rye guy just got home. Well, all the kids just got home. I brought them home. And now we're actually leaving again. They want to go support the girls' basketball team. I'm going to drop them off. And I actually have a nail appointment. I had a nail appointment this morning. I moved it to this afternoon because wanted to take Ryler on his field trip. I'm gonna head out, get that done, see if I can make it work. If you know anything about mom, about our affinity for sunlight, today is a great day. It is just sunny outside. It's about 50-ish degrees with a winter weather warning in the forecast for tomorrow because it's dropping down to like six, but whatever. We're gonna enjoy the 50 today. And just think that that sun just brings some life and energy. I was actually talking to a friend yesterday who is considering moving to California and I was like, dude, why? Everyone's leaving there to come here. He said, I just feel like I'm wired to have more sun than I'm getting here in Utah. I was like, you know what? I can relate. I can absolutely relate to that. Just never can get quite enough of that sunshine. It just breathes life. And today we are feeling it. Mom, probably feeling a little bit tired because today she has been running all over the place. She started off this morning and I'm sure she's probably explained most of this, but just a mad shout out to mom and all that she does for the kids, for the family and for us, for so many other people, including the school. But she went to an early, early morning workout this morning, got back home, got the kids' lunches together, got them off to school, came back home, showered and changed and ran back to the school to take a bunch of teenagers to the zoo for like seven hours. And if you can imagine, the zoo is actually a really fun day at school. It's all better than being in in a classroom. I think these kids are maybe a little bit too old for that. So I don't know that it was the smash success that it could have been. Somebody you know, like Hazy's age, like an eight year old was headed to the zoo. I think that would be an incredible day at school. And mom actually specifically moved the nail appointment that she had. Just tell you right now, mom drives to almost every field trip. And I think it's really cool because our kids love it. It would be one thing if they were like, no, not again, mom. They actually get bummed if she's not driving. And so Ryder was a little bit bummed that she wasn't going to be one of the drivers chaperones on this field trip. And so mom kind of sensed that and moved her nail appointment so that she could do that. So after getting back from the zoo, picking 
up the kids from school. She jumped right back in the car, took them back to the school to support the girls basketball team in the championship. Kids are there at the game. Mom is getting her nails done. And then on her way back, she's going to pick up the kids, bring them back here to the house. You guys get this. You can't make this up. Tonight, we are going to be back at the school for a play at the school and crew actually has a basketball practice at the school. So I feel like today we have gone back and forth to the school, mom specifically, about 400 times. So <laughs> there's been a lot of back and forth, back and forth, just getting kids to where they want and need to be, making sure everybody's able to do the things that they want to do. Here at the house, me and Hazy have been crushing it. We actually were just in the gym doing a little bit of workout. She was doing some yoga stretches. Brexton was on the treadmill. He got some new shoes he can wear in the gym that are specifically for running because he seems to be getting into that. So that's a great habit that we'd love to support. So he was breaking those in. But as it stands, you guys, right now, we are just enjoying the beautiful sunny weather outside. Gorgeous. It has our mind looking forward to even sunnier weather in the Caribbean. Jamaica, baby. That was not... Jamaica. We don't have the accent down, but we are very excited. Today, on this 29th day of February, an extra day in the year. Does that make it 366 days this year? I don't think I ever put that together. I knew it was an extra day in the month. That makes this year 366 days. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so just kind of using it to maximize some fun in a little bit of sun. Still got snow in the mountains, guys. This is a chilly one out there. But being able to see the basketball court uncovered from snow, some of the grass in the surrounding areas does have our brains kind of shifting towards spring. You know, there is much winter left to be had here. In fact, I don't know if we've talked about this, but last year was our first summer and spring here in this home. And so rather than book a fun, epic spring break, we decided let's just open the pool and we will have an incredible week of fun going down our water slide. First time ever swimming in our swimming pool. It will be the greatest spring break of our lives. And if you were here last year, you probably remember the spring break came and there was still snow all over the yard. I don't think the water slide was even installed yet. And it was an epic fail. We also knew that we had a trip to San Diego to California the week after spring break to go welcome Maddie home from her mission. That was already in the books, but spring break itself, man, total bust, just sitting around the house in freezing cold weather, thinking and wishing that we would have been swimming at our swimming pool. This year, we were wiser than that, as the forecast shows in the next 10 days, a number of snowy days, a number of 10 degree days, a number of freezing cold days. I am so grateful we have something warm to look forward to, instead of going, wow, hope that all melts by the time spring break comes. We're definitely gonna be taking full advantage of the sunny warm weather in Florida and the Caribbean. Mom may have already addressed this today. We haven't even crossed paths yet because there has been so much back and forth and we may not for more than about 10 minutes today before we get into bed tonight. Crew had a little bit of pain on those braces this morning. He actually left the house feeling fantastic. I thought, wow, maybe third time around, your body's just used to it and you're not gonna have any of those traditional braces, pains and quirks, but about an hour or two into school, he started to feel it pretty bad. The upside is he is absolutely loving the buzz. So was Brexton and I think we all actually are surprised at how much we really love the fun, fluffy, fuzzy cut on these kids' heads. Here at the house today continues to march on as we prepare for the next shuttle service to and from the school later this afternoon. <laughs> Ooh, it feels so nice out here. Hey, you want to play basketball? Every time the wind blows, this thing usually tips over actually, but the top part flips open, the wind pulls back on this, ends up tipped over, and when it's snowing or raining, it just gets full of snow and rain. And this isn't the nicest bin here. I'm not super worried about it getting broken. It's an old Costco classic that's lasted us literally probably seven years. And it does just fine. Just throw the stuff in here. This is the pickleball net, pickleball paddles, the balls, basketballs, all those different things you kind of just chuck in here. But ideally, I would like it to stay shut. I'm grateful for these spring action, you know, whatever you call those things over there. Riley would know the name of those pistons. I don't know compressors. I'm such an idiot. But once it starts to get past like about that point, it's like if the wind just kind of gets it going like this, it flips up and flips it over every single time without fail. So I've been looking for a simple solution. I don't necessarily need to lock it up because there's nothing super valuable in here. Maybe the pickleball net. But I'm hoping, yes, Hazy, it works. Just that little simple Yay. hook right there. This is actually from my AirPods. And now when the wind blows, it'll just stop like that. And if you need to get into it, like you're coming to play some sports with your friends, slides right off. No problem. Easy breezy. Put it right back on. Boom. Oh, I figured it out, Hazel. The solution. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you can go down this way. Is the water gone? Oh, it drained. It drained. You can jump again. Yes. I think they call them like a French drain or whatever, but it's filled with rocks underneath. You can't see it right through a camera. Maybe you can actually right through there. So that's full of pebbles and rocks and different things. So a lot of the water is intentionally guided this way through the way that they do the sloping and grading so that it will collect underneath here. And so if we have a massive snowstorm, it usually fills this entirely. Oh, you almost landed a flip after not doing one for a really long time. 
So it will fill underneath here because it's supposed to drain out the water kind of slowly so that you don't get any flooded areas. But what happens is we forget or can't see it immediately. So the kids come out, they do one giant jump on it and water just splashes everywhere. One of our favorites ever was Rag I did like this flip to a belly so land or something like that. Did a back layout on his stomach. The water just splashed. He landed on his stomach, fully clothed, just soaked him in. It's not sewer water, but it's drainage water. <laughs> you always have to check, make sure it's not full of water because it was up to the top. Like if you just put your toe on it, water would seep up from it. It doesn't usually get that full. That was kind of a unique situation but today water's gone hazy's jumping oh yeah <laughs> Well, no, it just comes back to life once we can water it in the spring. Huh. It just dies. It goes dormant in the winter, like falls asleep, basically. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are insane. You are absolutely insane. You're gonna be landing that this spring every single time. <laughs> This one now, hey girl. It's for you. Oh, watch your head. All right, you shoot it. Ah! Oh my gosh, that literally almost went in. It was so close. I like this grunt too. Ah! Nope. All right, that's it. I give up. <laughs> I wish. Honestly, it's been so long. This is the rare moment, the five minute crossover where I actually get to see mom and the kids today. That's my only dinner. Because this is honestly as fast as it's gonna happen. They are slamming a bowl of cereal, just got back from cheering on the girls basketball team. And guess what? I did not realize all of you are going back to the school for the play, except for crew who's gonna hang with me, who will then be going back to the school for practice. Yes. So we're all going back to the school again. Mom's been crushing it today. I think I've driven like 150 miles today. Your car is actually catching up to mine in miles. Mine's like five years old. 17,000 <laughs> miles. I cannot believe you're back. We're together. This is our three minutes together today. Huh? I know Enjoy we tried it. to have Cherish a conversation it. and it didn't work. <laughs> Did not happen. Did not happen. No time for that today. Today was one of those days and it was about 90% of the burden. I don't want to call it a burden. It's just part of being a parent, but it was placed on mom's shoulders. She was back and forth, back and forth to a lot of different yeah. things. The kids where they need to be, making sure everyone could support what they wanted to support, be part of what they want to be a part of. Now we still have one left out. We have one more errand, one more kid to pick up. I'm going to do that one. <laughs> I've been in the car a lot less than Tapping you. Tapping you in. Yes. He doesn't even get out of practice until 9 30. It's a pretty late pickup as well. You go ahead and I guess wind down if you can. Now you've got another workout in the My morning. My day did start at 440. You don't have to commute to the home gym, so that's just downstairs. I know, that's and good. usually guys, I feel like I have such great stamina for this kind of thing, but today, I think it's coming off of Vegas. I feel like that one, like, that can kind of mess you up for like your normal routine over the yeah. week and then, you know, Well, you I just reset. feel like I haven't caught up at home yet. Like I still haven't done with the laundry from being gone. Well, you've just had so many. And then many. tomorrow night, I'm not gonna be home. I can't think about it. Yeah, we're, we're losing mom again, you guys. I'm starting to think something's up. I don't think she likes hanging out with me. She's been very busy lately. I have been very busy. I'm mm -hmm. ready for things to slow down. Yeah, mm -hmm. they won't. Okay. All right, well. <laughs> okay, go back tomorrow. We love you guys. We'll Bye. see you later.